Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have this question on the board for you guys. And just a note, this video is actually dedicated to my friend Sebastian. So that means that this question is actually for primary kids. So if you guys are not, are not primary kids, then you should probably skip this video. So now, why don't we just get into the question? So we have this simultaneous equation to solve. Well, I'm going to teach you guys how to solve this. Hmm, let's see. The first thing we have to notice is that this simultaneous equation has three variables, okay? As we can see, we have x, y, and z, okay? And there are also three equations. And this means that this simultaneous equation is solvable, okay? So how do we actually solve one? Well, the first thing we're going to try and do is we're going to try and cancel out the x term, the y term, or the z term. Well, normally, we, go, we first go with the z term. So how do we do that? Hmm. Well, I'm going to show you the overview. So we're first going to try and cancel out z in equations 1 and 2. Then we're going to try and cancel out z in, two, in equation 2 and 3. So then we make two equations with only two variables. So that makes our simultaneous equation one level easier. Okay? So let's first try and see how do we cancel out z in equations 1 and 2. So why don't we just try and just do equation 1 minus equation 2? Right? Hmm. Okay. So let's see, what is 2x minus x? Of course, x. What is y minus 2y? Negative y. And of course, z minus z is 0. So it's gone. Then, this is equal to 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And I'll call this equation 4. So now we'll try and cancel out z from equation 2 and 3. Hmm, so how do we do that? Now we look at the z term again. In equation 2, we have normal z. But in equation 3, we have 2z. So how do we cancel out the z? Can't we just multiply equation 2 by 2? So, that we be so then z becomes 2z? Yes, equation 2 times 2 implies that okay so we know x times 2 is just 2x we know 2y times 2 is just 4y and z times 2 is just 2z and this is equal to 4 times 2 which is 8 so i'll call this equation 5. so now we can cancel out 2z by just doing equation 5 minus equation 3 Right, so if we do equation 5 minus equation 3, then we'll get 2x minus x is x, 4y minus y is 3y, and 2z minus 2z is 0. So then this is just equal to 8 minus 6, which is 2. And this is equation 6. So now I'll rewrite our new simultaneous equation, which is x minus y equals negative 2, this is equation 4, and x plus 3y, which is equal to 2, this is equation 6. So, now, since we have an easier, since we have an easier simultaneous equation, we're going to try and do the same thing we did with this one. So, we're still going to try and cancel out a term, either x or y. As so now, it's rather obvious that we want to cancel out x. So we'll do equation 6 minus equation 4. And this means that we see x minus x is just 0. 3y minus negative y is 3y plus y, which is just 4y. And 4y is now equal to 2 minus negative 2, which is 4. And it's equal to 4 because 2 minus negative 2 is equal to 2 plus 2, which is 4. 
So from this information, we can see that y is just equal to 1. So now we know that y is equal to 1, how do we figure out the x value? Well, we can just substitute the value of y back into any of these equations. So I'm just going to substitute it into equation number 4. So then we have x minus y, which is just 1, is equal to negative 2, right? So then we see x will be, if we just move negative 1, to the right hand side then we'll get negative 2 since this is minus 1 then it will be negative 2 plus 1 which is negative 1 and I'll put this over here so we know that x is just negative 1 okay so now now we have the value of x and y so how do we find the value of z well we can just plug in the values of x and y into one of these equations. So I'm going to substitute it into equation 3. So then you see it will be x, which is negative 1, plus y, which is 1, plus 2z is equal to 6. And we know that negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so we can just ignore this. So we can see that 2z is equal to 6, so z is equal to 3. So I can just put it here. So now we have solved this simultaneous equation. But if, Sebastian, you can think a little bit deeper, then you will notice something about these simultaneous equations. So I'll first rub everything out. So, so then you notice a similarity between all of these simultaneous equations is that we see the x term in all of these equations are 2x, x, and x. Similarly, the y term is 2y, y, and y. And the z term is 2z, z, and z. So if we add all of these up, then shouldn't that mean that, that, the, that the term for x, y, z is the same? Yes, so why don't we just try and add up equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3, right? So if we add equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3, then we'll get, and similarly for y, it will be 4y, and for z, it will be 4z. And this is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6, add the 4 and 6 first, which is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. So this is equal to 12. Now, since they all have the same term in front of them, we can just divide both sides by that term, which in our case is 4. So if we divide both sides by 4, then we get the left-hand side is just x plus y plus z, which is equal to 12 divided by 4 is 3. So now, you guys might be wondering, what good does this do us? And I'll put this as equation 4. Well, this actually helps us a lot, because let's notice. Let's first look at equation 1 in, in equation 4 and see what we can cash out. So let's see, we have 2x plus y plus z, and here we have x plus y plus z. Look, can we cancel out, can we cancel out both y and z so we can immediately find the x term? Yes. So if we just do equation 1 minus equation 4, then we'll get x, and x will be equal to 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. Okay, so now, why don't we see what equation 2 and equation 4 can cancel out. If we just do equation 2 minus equation 4, then we'll get, like I said, x, z, x, z will cancel out. So it'll just be 2y minus y, which is y, and y will be 4 minus 3, which is just 1. Now we we'll see how equation 3 and equation 4 can cancel. If we just do equation 3 minus equation 4, then we'll get, like I said, xy, xy will cancel each other out. So it'll just be 2z minus z, which is z. So z is equal to 3. 
So, I've shown you two ways of how to solve the simultaneous equation. And before I wrap up this video, I want to personally thank Sebastian for making me create this video. And yeah, thank you.